Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me this week. I, I want to talk a little bit about the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, a lot of the world loves the Sermon on the Mount. They love verses uh, like uh, Matthew 7, 1, which says, Judge not, lest ye be judged. Uh, they like uh, Blessed Be the Peacemakers because they use it for anti-war chants and things like that. But the truth is, the Sermon on the Mount was always meant for the disciples, for the followers of Jesus. He was preparing them for the world that was ahead. When, when they came down from the mountain, Jesus told them, that the, the, the harvest was white and the laborers were few. So he had to get them ready for that uh, white harvest that was ahead. And one of the, the reasons the harvest is so white, one of the reasons that the harvest is so plentiful is because even Christians or those who believe they are Christians can fool themselves. And yet Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7, 21, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father. That's what it comes down to. It's not how many times you attend church or how religious you are or those kinds of things. It's do you do the will of the Father? Do you follow Jesus and, and do what he asks you to do in his word? So many people can fool themselves. So many people think that they're doing really well in the Lord, and they really are not. That, that verse can be scary. It says those who say, Lord, Lord, will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And they will even tell uh, Jesus, hey, but we're doing all this for you. We're, we're, you know, casting out demons. We're doing so many things for you. And yet Jesus says, I never knew you. Does Jesus know you today? Are you doing the will of the Father? We need to check ourselves off and, and, and dig into his word and make sure that we're following the Lord in every aspect of our lives. I hope that you're doing that today. And if you're not, pray, let the Lord start working in you and uh, just start following Jesus the way that he would have you do so. And you're going to see a big change in your life. And you can be confident that you will enter the kingdom of heaven.